guys, May Flum here, and I just got back from teaching a class. Super fun. We just did like distress and mixed media fun stuff, um, techniques, and made some cards, and that was really fun. But I'll tell you, when I teach an in person event, it takes so much time beforehand. It's incredible. And then so much time, so much energy. Um, I came home and just took an, I wanted to take a nap. I just laid down and like stared at the wall for about an hour. Um, totally worth it, but it just, you know, unbelievable how much energy it actually takes. But anyway, I figured since I actually have makeup on and a nice shirt on and a cute necklace and stuff, I better record this week's video. Um, Kay Thrower was asking about my acrylic stamp storage and I'm really intrigued by her question because um, quite honestly I want to know what you do and what you suggest because my acrylic stamps are my next drawer that I have to tackle. Actually they're number one on the list because they don't fit in the drawer anymore. Basically I have a drawer that's about this tall um, and it fits two rows of acrylic stamps. Not quite this big but like more standard size acrylic stamps. It fits two rows and probably about 30 back it would fit. But anyway, I was kind of hoping to keep it that way and it worked that way for a while, but here's the problem. Number one, I can't keep acrylic stamps clean. And what I mean by that is once I've used them a couple times, um, a lot of times they still stick, but they don't, they're not like so sticky. Like these never before been used ones no matter what, they're going to hang on. Um, once they've been used a few times though, they don't necessarily cling that hard. So I'm trying to figure out how do I deal with that. I know people do binders and all these systems, but here's the other problem. If it's complicated, if we've got a binder and I have to like sift through, if it gets complicated, I either won't use it or I won't do it. Now, as I'm seeing it right now, I could do something like what I do for my stencils. Um, this is my stencils bin, and there's also Simon Says Stamp, um, any die cuts that I have. The wafer dies from Simon Says Stamp are in here too, but mostly it's my stencils. Um, this works great for my stencils because I will just sit here and flip through until I get to the stencil I want, and I use that. And this is fantastic. This is just a cheapo Target or wherever Tupperware thing. Um, storage thing. Okay, so that could work. Maybe. The problem is, what size do I get? Because stamp, clear stamps could be this big, could be this small. Do I have to have a bunch of different sizes? And then, how do I remember, if I want the stamp that says let it go, how do I remember where it was? My rubber stamps, um, I actually prefer rubber stamps and always have. The thing I love about rubber stamps, a couple things. Number one, when I want to use a rubber stamp, I grab it, I ink it, or paint it or whatever, and I stamp it and we're done. When I want to use an acrylic stamp, first I have to find the darn thing. It's not just on the shelf ready to go. Then I've got to find a stamping block and then I've got to attach it to the stamping block and it's more steps. So what I'm considering right now is if I want to do an insanely major purge of my clear stamps. And what I mean by that is if the one, if I go through and say like the little circle here that says, let it go, love that one. Do I want to only keep the stamps, like pull stamps off of sets that I really want? You know, do I want to go through here and like this set is all like Disney-ish. Do I want to go through here and take like, um, happiest place on earth off? And what I'm kind of considering is, do I want to try to get like a, like the plastic store or something and get acrylic block, have them cut me, let's see, I'm looking at the, I've got a grid right here, like one and a half inch squares and two and a half inch squares or two and a quarter rectangles or whatever. Do I want to have a whole bunch of acrylic blocks cut so that I can actually mount and make into the same that I have for my wood stamps. Do I want to make all my favorite acrylic stamps into wood mounted stamps and then all the ones that aren't favorite just store them like I was saying earlier maybe in a tub or a bin where they could be sifted through? Do I want to pull the ones that I think I would use more that way? Then I get into all my Tim Holtz cling stamps. 
Um, my very favorite ones, I am known for buying in wood mounted. Um, all my flourishes and stuff because I use them so much. It just, to me, they're longer lasting better. So do I want to do the same for my favorite Tim Holtz ones? And if so, what adhesive would I use? And also, am I talking about a ton of money or would it be cheap? Because I remember a long time ago, somebody going and getting acrylic, like cut into pieces and it wasn't expensive, but how expensive would it be? How much bulk would I have to do? How would I, where am I finding the time to sit down and sort out, okay, I need this many of this size, this many of that size? I'm not really sure. My Tim Holtz stamps, I actually have a bin that's for specifically for the blueprints and they are loose in there because for whatever reason, the blueprints, I, I don't have a problem maybe because it's rubber, not acrylic and they've got the image printed right on them. I have no problem with them being in the bin and then I just sift through the bin and find them with the exception of, and this one, by the way, I'm not picking on this particular stamp set. It's not even a blueprint stamp set. It just happens to be on my desk because I'm about to use it. The ones that aren't, um, if I don't use them as much or whatever, I just leave them on their sheet. And these to me are pretty easy to use and the, and the, the cling rubber ones stick a little longer, a little better for me at least. I'm trying to figure it out. Hopefully we can figure it out. Um, I'd also need what kind of adhesive would I use? I don't, I don't know. So that's that for me for the week. Um, remember for your chance to win a class, if you want comments, questions, always welcome. Um, I did do my run this morning and about a third of the way in about minute three of actual running, I barfed into my hand. So yeah, I walked the rest of the way. It wasn't a running morning, apparently, but I was out there at 630 and I was going for it. So that counts for something. Or maybe I just need to not drink a cup of coffee before I go out. Either way, I have got some Tim Holtz Distress Stains that I'm going to check out and make a YouTube video for in the meantime. So I'll see you next time. Hope you have a great week.